Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Anuja Bashi. Uh, I am a serial entrepreneur, a startup mentor, um, a brand and marketing strategist, as well as a business coach to SMEs, MSMEs and startups. Uh, I'm also a diversity evangelist. First of all, let me uh, thank and express my gratitude to the uh, team members and the crew of um, Founded who have invited me as a speaker in this Trying 3 session. So let me get into the topic of how unconscious bias affects individuals and organizations. So speaking of that, I believe that when there is bias, um, unconscious bias specifically, because these are created because of a lot of things that has been brewed in the society where the myths are kind of uh, like, you know, there are a set of rules which you need to follow and there are a set of things which you are, uh, which you should not do. So because of this uh, framework that has been created by this society, uh, humans uh, have always a kind of unconscious bias in them, even though they do not want to think like that, but because of the, uh, the way you have raised or the framework of the society, somehow it happens. Now, what is the impact that happens on individual itself as well as on the organization? So speaking of that, I believe that uh, when it comes to the individual, most of the time there is a discrimination happening. And because of the discrimination, they kind of lose their confidence, self-esteem. And sometimes even though having capability and tal talent also, they cannot come ahead. So this is a very dangerous uh, thing that is, that needs to be addressed. Again, because of this unconscious biases, sometimes there is an unfair treatment that is happening. Um, uh, kind of like if I put an example, if there is a man and there are women in the organization, because you believe that, uh, you know, again, the society myth wala thing, uh, you feel that you know, a woman cannot handle many of the things because she can't travel in orders. She cannot, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, kind of like handle uh, multiple things because she might have to manage uh, her own household chores or maybe her children. So sometimes management prefers a man to do that. But the fact is that even the woman is capable to do that but this happens just because of this bias in your uh, bias that unconsciously work inside you, thinking that the woman cannot do it and the man can do it. I'm just stating with an example. So there is an unfair treatment when this uh, this particular uh, fact or the element called unconscious bias happened, and sometimes it also hinders the decision. This is the typical example I have told. Sometimes a, a woman who's been talented also has been rejected uh, have, of getting into an opportunity just because uh, there is a there is a myth uh, or an unconscious bias uh, that has been already framed that yes she cannot do it. Now coming to organization because of this bias, what happens is that most of the times you would not get productivity in the scale you have. I mean you are supposed to get it just because you uh, make wrong decisions and sometimes uh, you, you don't th see things right. So that is also something very, very uh, dangerous when it comes to, uh, uh, when it comes to lead a successful organization. Uh, and what uh, I believe that this, is, this needs to be eliminated and to mitigate this, uh, the only uh, solution is to uh, incorporate or implement diversity in your organization where people understand that what is diversity uh, it is not uh, you know not uh, uh, just simply bringing in the diversified sectors into the uh, company or supporting only women or uh, differently abled or the lgbt it, and, and eliminating men from the system it is not like that it is actually providing opportunities to these diversified sectors so that just based on this uh, psyche, people uh, do not take the wrong decisions. So 
um, also we need to uh, incorporate uh, policies that is connected to uh, uh, that, that that's really connected to the uh, inclusiveness and also we need to foster open conversation so that uh, we 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 are raised or we we can frame up uh, right decisions because having in uh, having proper communication and interaction it might it it, it, it is not might it actually leads to um, a, a proper decision which helps in the growth of the uh, organization and also i believe that you should uh, foster uh, diverse leadership uh, so that both men and women are uh, uh, are also a part of the cxo system uh, where each of their contribution can really really um, support uh, uh, to get the organization uh, in the topmost level and get the com and, and make the company reach a level of success. Inclusive leadership actually embodies empathy, open mindedness, and also embrace diverse perspectives. So when you are actually empowering and valuing uh, individuals uh, from all the different uh, diversified sectors uh, on all backgrounds, you are actually challenging the stereotypes. You are also fostering a sense of kind of belonging uh, because uh, it it gives you a lot of happiness and people would love to be a part of that organizations or people would would be would be kind of like interested to work along with you. So uh, because of this thing where they are being, they feel that they are being accepted. And it also creates an environment where each person's unique strengths and contribution is being recognized, accepted, and acknowledged. So I think inclusive uh, leadership actually uh, has a lot of positiveness uh, where the, the team actually uh, takes a lot of motivation from the leader, which again uh, results in the productivity of the organization. In addition to it, it also uh, helps to have an engaged workforce, um, yeah, kind of drives innovation and uh, creativity, and also uh, kind of um, creates a mutual uh, respect between uh, individuals in the organization. So I believe that where there is respect, where there is um, uh, people to support each other, always uh, it leads to uh, growth because whenever there is a trouble or whenever there is something um, uh, something uh, where where they have to face it it will be always together and because there is a kind of bond uh, between each other and that finally uh, will uh, lead to a, lead to a pro progressive growth i believe that embracing diverse perspectives actually fosters an inclusive culture that helps in improving uh, and solving problems at the same time enhances creativity and productivity it also enhances the employees uh, morale uh, as well as their loyalty uh, it helps the organization to make better decisions a broader market research in nutshell we could say that it totally enhances the organizational growth and helps it to have a sustainable and consistent growth now, speaking of, again, like I mentioned, I am a diversity evangelist. We have a social initiative called NEED, uh, which uh, fosters and aims to help organization and individuals um, that those are, those are in uh, the specified segments like women, uh, differently abled and the LGBT community. We help them through our various uh, programs uh in uh, right, like mentoring training and also uh supporting them uh with uh on with uh, pro with, i mean with sectors like uh, entrepreneurship career development as well as um health and uh, we also are uh, organizing an event on august 24th uh, 2023 uh, uh, something called Mocking J event where we are celebrating 100 women from all across Kerala uh, who has contributed immensely uh, in 20 niche domains where we are se selecting a top five uh, women who, who has again uh, done a deserving uh, role in building their business or startups. Uh, so I believe that, uh, you know, recognition 
as well as acknowledgement is very important uh, to promote an in individual's confidence as well as their self-esteem, uh, which again enhances uh, to bring in their productivity, which in turn uh, lets uh, the growth of an organization as well as the total of the society. So diversity is something which everybody needs to uh, practice uh, in an organization so that we can have a consistent uh, uh, growth uh, along with diversified sectors. Thank you.